Greetings everyone, and Great here with another Age of Fire through Definitive Edition replay. It's on the top left side as the pink Burmese, we have JRBD. It's on the bottom right side as the cyan poles, we have TW, number sign 1. Well, let's go ahead and cover each player's civilization bonuses. The Burmese, Monk and Elephant Civilization, Lumber Tech... Camp technologies are free. Infantry gets plus one attack per A starting in Feudal Age. Battle Offense gets plus one plus one armor. Monastery technologies cost 50% less. Arambai, Range Cavalry, Unique Techs, Howda, Battle Elephants get plus one plus one Pierce Armor. Man Fury, Cavalry gets plus uh, five attack versus uh, Archers. And Team Bonus Relics are visible on the map. This arena may also go a bit faster than I normally do. Poles, Cavalry Civilization, Villagers regenerate health per additional health per age full works to replace the mill giving a bit of a immediate cash refund a cash refund uh instant collection when deploying out the what's going on here got a villager rush power rush on arena what the hell oh we got a tower rush on arena map he's breaking down the up? wall with the villagers go on to the rest of these uh civilization bonuses so minus generate additional gold per addition to stone, which could be quite handy to for a tower rush, I guess, on arena map. You have the unique unit oblique, give them an uh, armor stripping infantry unit. Wing Hazar is another upgrade for your Hazar line. Drak Streethlock, I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. Privileges, nice cost less gold. And a Lick Tuck Legacy, like how we do trample damage. And team mode, Scout, Cavalry, Light Cavalry, Hazars get plus one attack versus Archer. Now the villagers have broken through. There's an outpost here as well, which they do cost five stone, nothing too significant. What was it ten stone? I always forget. I don't really build outposts myself. Do you have a watchtower here? Got a market and blacksmith trying to wall in this region. Which this still be a potential hold? No, the 4A bushes are good at walling in. Now the tower has been built, so he has, of course, reached a arena map of the tower rush. Now these villagers are going to be backing on up, going to the far side of the area. There's plenty of stone and gold on the far side, so his resource up here is not really too contested. He's also... Those can't deploy out farms or food, so maybe the denying the 4 bushes will be very useful. Ink's not going for his own defensive tower. We've got these villagers still trying to break down this house. Both players are at Feudal Age, and Yellow Hat, or not Yellow, Cyan has gone for Fletching, which is probably very useful for the archers deploying out, as well as the Guard Tower, giving some additional range there. Another Watchtower being deployed on out. Now there could be a bit of a Tower War. Cyan needs to get that Tower retarget towards his opponent. He does have Fletching. Both of them have Fletching. Are they out of range each other? They should be in range. Maybe they're just out of range of each other. By the way, this tower is receiving quite a bit of fire. Awesome. You can throw the archer in there. And I suppose, as right now with the fletching upgrade, it'll be a bit hard to get the arrows maxed out. You can't just throw an archer. Well, I suppose the archer and the Good builders are equivalent in a lot of cases. And now both towers are firing against the uh, ink defensive tower. Towers do get bonus damage versus other towers with their extra arrows only. So having units inside of your towers will help them win a tower war. In fact, the two archers are could be supplemented with some additional villagers. And Pink's tower is receiving quite a bit of fire. Another watchtower being pulled out by Cyan. First time I've ever seen a tower rush on an arena map, and he is being somewhat successful. It's nine the four bushes, but that's probably the least useful thing to deny. The gold, stone, and wood are. And it's hard to deny the wood, but the gold and stone are very safe. He does have very two good deposits, and the other gold deposits are very safe as well. The scout will go and break through a palisade wall now, or soon. Starting to force away out more and more villagers. Let's see what Pink is doing. Going for Maganel. Maganel would be a good item to help deal with uh, various forces such as the repairing villagers primarily. Oh. 
He's trying to just stall out the long as long as he can. This house is actually quite wounded as well, so the scout could finish it off. Meganel's advancing forward. He could potentially get some splash damage on the tower for these towers, but now towers are focusing on the Meganel. The Meganel does do decent damage versus buildings in comparison to arrow fire. But looks like scout does get a body block by the repairing villager somehow, and actually did save it. But looks like the scar tower will go down. And the guard tower does go down for Cyan. Does take out the house as well. That does not uh, population block him. And Cyan's going for another watchtower here. Okay. Please tell me Cyan is going for tower upgrades. Because you never see tower upgrades. He does not get any keep upgrades just yet. The watchtower has been built. And it looks like this Meganel is forced on the ground onto nothing. More houses being built on the front line. And this Meganel is being focused down by a bit too much for arrow fire. A number of these towers are loaded up with archers to increase their arrow count. Was out some more frontline housing. Probably because this village is not doing all too much. One of the frontline housing would probably be the best spot for them. We have some full works deployed out over here. Stone being collected. Doesn't has a bit of gold, oh, yes. stone, wood, everything being collected at home. Village account is 42 to 37. Oh, science still just on uh, feudal age, not reached castle age just yet. And he's not researching it whatsoever either. Is okay, there we go. He's getting castle age now. It have a slight village advantage, and so Sion or Magenta could surpass him with the additional town center. And he does block up the gate with a house. Not sure how effective that is, honestly. Don't think I've ever seen a gate blocked off of a house before. Stable being built on the front line. Scout is severely wounded. Hope we could just pass it to auto scout at this point in time. Let's see how much he's scouted out. Uh, yep, yeah, maybe a good idea to pass the auto scout just in case. Now we do have a forward cat or not forward defensive castle being put up by Dink. The archers advancing forward, trying to deal with these forces. Does take up the converted archer, and looks like he will stop the castle from being built. He may just want to get all his villagers on building this castle. He needs his castle up. This castle will force back these towers. Will force back the infantry, barring the lack of mur murder holes. We have another Maganel or something going on the workshop. Actually, a battering ram wouldn't be half bad. Bar and the villagers is shanking it. The castle has been built. He can throw his uh, villagers in there, but he's going to recast them back on the wood line. The scorpion has actually been built out. Now's a good time to pour, start pulling out some battery rams. Battery rams will be a higher damage unit versus these structures and be very resilient to the various arrow fire. The scorpion, however, is getting ripped apart by these arrows. Science now reached Castle Age. Castle seeing some arrow fire, but the castle does get bonus damage versus other buildings. Science could also deploy out his own bad ram to help engage this castle. Maybe that's a good idea for something for him to do. Scorpion pushing way forward. We'll see if arrow fire will go down there. And let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit because right now it's a little bit static of what's going on. Neither side, I think side just staying back and transitioning to a normal game. No, got more villagers pushing way forward. It's time to castle to lock down the breach right here. Magnell is pushing way forward, but we'll see peril fire from that uh, tower there. It's still just a watchtower, no keep upgrade. The scout does charge forward, that one health and scout gets a kill there. And Science Castle has been completed. Let's see what research Science has at the moment. Let's see, university, no murder holes, no university text whatsoever. Let's see. 
yeah, looks like no universal text whatsoever. Only has brace, uh, not bracer, uh, fletching, no botacanero, no cr uh, crossbow research either. Looks like a uh, science claim is from relics, very nice. And we do have this relic being claimed by uh, Pink and Stab. Does of course deny that relic. Right now, Cyan has claimed one relic. The rest of relics could be claimed by Cyan. There's also a relic right here as well. Scouts could camp this relic. And it's got a little bit passive again. Let's go and fast forward a little bit. We have a banner ram here. The banner ram, of course, can be vulnerable to the scouts that can rush forward. Let's move out scouts. Scouts do go ahead and get converted by the monks. Okay. Usually scouts are resistant to his conversions, but you got the conversions off nonetheless. You can take time to heal up each other. Now, Cyan has pulled out a tribute. Looks like Cyan's gone straight for Imperial Age, and so does uh, Pink. Trebuchet rounds are now hitting the castle. Not sure what he's uh, poison return. He's actually pretty low in real estate for production. That's something that you usually don't have often on arena maps, but in this case, this castle is providing enough coverage to prevent sort of a lot of real real estate to produce uh, build the buildings themselves. So there's actually a little bit of area here where we can build his housing, build some production structures. Be not on the front line, however. Something beyond the back line. Castle's now seeing quite a bit of fire there. Okay. We've got a monk here. This monk has claimed a relic as well. Looks like uh, science claim three, pink will claim two. Looks like pink's castle will go down. We have some more villagers made support, and you have some oblique. Second like one, science trebuchets received some hits there from Pink's trebuchet. Receives another hit there as well. And it looks like Pink has ran out of stone for repairing up the castle. It does actually purchase some stone right there because it's all plus 100. The oblique isn't being engaged by these forces. A dropped a relic there. I'm not sure why that monk had that relic there. There must be no pathing right here. So he went the long way around and, and a long way to his death. King's Castle does go down. Pink's Tribuchet now receiving some fire. We do have Light Cavalry Research for Pink, uh, Cyan. Oh, was that a Bombard? Awesome. Yep, there's a Bombard right there. Bombard needs to start hitting those Tribuchets. Tribuchet down. There's still three more from the takeout. Does hit a Villager there. Oblique's pushing it forward, trying to convert the Oblique. It does get the version off very, very quickly there. Scouts faints forward, trying to overrun that Bombard. An Oblique does get killed off by the Oblique. And the Bombard cannon will go down. More Tribuchets pushing me forward, trying to get some good damage on in. And Obliques do get some good hits there, and looks like Pink goes in and surrenders from the game. A successful Tower Rush on Arena Map. Alrighty then. Oh, let's on to the next replay.